How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Today we are here with Dr. Ian Hunter at the Running Mechanics Lab at BYU and we are talking super shoes. Now, we've seen super shoes on the feet of the elites, the top pros. We're seeing world records come down, but what about the normal runner, the casual runner? Are we still seeing those benefits kind of translate for the everyday person? It seems to really be a benefit to everybody that puts them on. There's been a few studies around the country now looking at um, comparing similar type shoes to each other and whether they're going very fast or slower, uh, we're seeing the same kind of benefits. It's typically around three to four percent benefit whether they're going sub five minute pace or eight minute pace or anywhere in between. So no matter the shoe, we've got the same benefit for energy savings and if you think does that help a slower runner, percent wise in time, we've got some real good things going on that they're saving more time in the race than the elites maybe. Now for certain runners that are maybe doing courses with lots and ups and downs, are you seeing better benefits in efficiency scores on the ups versus the downs? We wondered that a little while ago and recently we just got a, an article out there so everyone can see it where we looked at uphill and downhill running between the Saucony Type A and the Endorphin Pro and found there was an equal benefit in terms of energy cost, whether they were going uphill level or downhill. So no matter what the grade, the energy savings seems to be similar. Now you're known for testing Jared Ward in here in the initial prototypes of the Endorphin Pro, but is there any other types of runners you test in here? Are you testing uh, any sort of a variety of speeds and runner types? We focused mainly just on the elite situation or at least college level and up. We have a lot of those around here that are easy to recruit and get them in our studies. So we personally haven't done a lot with um, groups other than the, the elites, but we're getting interested in that in running mechanics in general. And we're looking at some things with um, how consistently people move step by step, whether it's in different shoes or with different levels of experience. So we're starting to get at some of that, but don't have much to show for it yet. So although we've seen this on the pros, it really is going to benefit every type of runner. But again, this was built specifically for Jared Ward. Is there a way you could build this shoe that would be more beneficial for a three hour or four hour marathoner? I'm sure there is. There's shoes designed for certain foot strikes and certain abilities of the person, maybe even weights of people. And Typically, we're not seeing that kind of customization on footwear yet. We test in the lab and we test on multiple people and we get, here's what works on average, but whether that's better for one person or the other is a different story. So one of the things we have found is those that spend less time on the ground for any given speed seem to get a greater benefit metabolically from the shoe. So now what do we do for those that spend a lot of time on the ground and those are some of the future directions to look at. So the final question I have for you is, is there any runner who is not gonna benefit for the shoe? Or if you are looking to run faster times, maybe go for an Endorphin Pro. So we've tested a lot of people in this lab and there's not been a single person that runs better in a more traditional shoe compared to the new super shoe types. And there might be ways that it can be improved more for one person over another, but everyone seems to be getting some benefit at least. Well, I'll definitely have to agree. I've seen the benefits as well. Everything from running a little bit faster, running a little bit more efficiently, and again, those recovery benefits after your races or workouts. I think the Super Shoes, especially the Sockney Endorphin Pro 3, are game changers, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds. There's exciting times ahead.